Welcome to Barbosa Nature Reserve. I'm Ben Hennessy, the Director for Development for Armonia. And I'm Chala Borsma, Conservation Program Director for Armonia. So we're here in 2025 in November, and the theme that seems very strong here right now is expansion. We're seeing populations expanding, cocktail tyrant expanding into new regions, marsh deers in areas where they weren't before, including one with a fawn in front of our dining facility. We're seeing Maine wolf expanding into other areas and the population increasing. Uh, we're seeing the razorbill curacao, which showed up in the, in the part of the forest about four years ago on this side, and now they've expanded to the other side, and some other interesting expansions. Well, this year we discovered the dwarf tinamou. This is an endangered bird, only known from Brazil, in Cerrado habitat, and an expedition that came here to record audio recordings for birds uh, discovered it. And it turns out that the dwarf tinamou requires seasoned savanna, old growth savanna. And what we observed over the last 10 years is we're taking out fire from the savanna ecosystem, we're building up this thatch within the grass, and suddenly we've seen Brazilian guinea pig return. And we have a park guard here in Barbasol Nature Reserve that was born here and he's never seen Brazilian guinea pig. And now we're seeing it throughout the reserve. Turns out that the Brazilian guinea pig is creating tunnels through the thatch of the seasoned savanna. And those are the tunnels that the dwarf tinamou needs to move around. So this is the restoration ecology of grasslands like happening while we're working here. We got this ranch, they were burning and burning and burning and burning. There wasn't a seed bank to quickly restore the area. And so we're thinking to look at a patch burn now in an area of seasoned savanna that has a lot of plant diversity to see if it can recuperate the diversity. Okay, so one of the things we're advancing on is our ranching program. Our sustainability goal is to reach 1,200 adult cows. We're now over 1,000. The herd uh -huh. is, is steadily growing. We're uh, getting returns. And what we're doing is we're constantly implementing practices and new practices to find that balance between production and habitat conservation and biodiversity protection. We're having these rotation systems. Uh, we're no longer burning. Um, we see species return. We see species cohabitate with livestock. So it's a equilibrium we're finding. Right, right. And now our goal is, because this is cattle ranching on 100% natural grasslands. So there's no need for any land conversion. So our goal now is to bring together ranchers that are interested in sustainable cattle ranching and build an alliance of like-minded ranchers that want to uh, produce taking conservation in, in mind. Right. One of the things that we're now aiming to develop in Barbasol East is a multifunctional center for our staff to, to be, um, a living space for staff, but at the same time a training center so when we um, invite ranchers to demonstrate our, our ranching practices, there is a very beautiful space where we can uh, receive them. You can look at the link here, and that's a video we produced on cattle ranching in the Beni Savannah. So we're here standing on the boardwalk in the Barbasul Nature Surf with brand new staff. Introduce yourself. Hi everybody, my name is Oscar Morales. I'm the coordinator of the Blue Throated Macau program. Can you explain us a little bit more about the goals for 2026? One of the things we want to do is expand Barbasul Nature Reserve. In light of new scientific data, we discovered a new roost close by to the Barbasul Nature Reserve. One of our rangers, Julian Machuca, discovered through weekly monitoring that some flew in another direction and said, okay, let's go look where they are going and what they are doing. And those are the areas we aim to expand to, to really bring under protection blue throat macaw priority habitat. Are there any other plans for development and infrastructure in Barbasol Nature Sur? We have in mind for 2026 is building the new staff house at Barbasul. 
We have some experience. We already built this same model of staff house in Laney Rigman Reserve. We have now 60 kilometer grid of fire breaks to really protect blue throat macaw priority habitat. Hey, what are the next plans in terms of protecting ourselves from fires? Well, learning from past experiences again, we know that impenetrable firebreaks are needed at the firebreaks in the north part of Barbasul, which means we need to build parallel backburns in the firebreaks. The related to fire and infrastructure is constructing a new fire monitoring tower in the south part. We already have one in the north part, now we will need another one in the south part. I'm here with Rocio. Hello everyone, my name is Rocio Lanoca and I'm coordinator on site of Barbasul Nature Reserve. I think this year you accomplished so many things. One of the things that I'm most proud of is the renovation of the cabin roofs to welcome our visitors here at Barbasul Nature Reserve. It was quite challenging, a lot of issues that nobody would think of if you would be in the city. Here it's completely different, but finally our cabins are ready. Another thing, this November, which was a very big deal for us in the protection of the habitat of the blue throated macaw here in Barbasul. Oh, yes, of course. That other thing would be the fire tower. The transportation was not an easy thing considering the access to the reserve, which is the rainy season, flooding season. It was completely different this year from the last years. Other people that can benefit because the tourists also can use it in, during their visits. It's a great spot to watch birds or also ma mammals as well. The monitoring tower is going to be great for fire observation, but also I think for mammal observation and it's going to be taking an advantage for, for tourists. Barbasul Nature Reserve is mostly known for bird watchers, but we also have a lot when it comes to mammals like giant and either pumas, which is perfect for any person who, is, who loves being surrounded by nature. So far, 60% of our tourists were able to watch Maine Wolf, which is a unique species here in Bolivia. Not an easy mammal to watch, but they were lucky enough to see it here at Barbasul Nature Reserve. Also, many of the tourists that visit here are very focused on birds. Yeah. And I think we re received a very special uh, guests uh, this year. During this year, during the last month, we were lucky enough to receive one of our group field guides, which is an important group when it comes to bird watching. They were able to see all the birds and mammals they had in their list. Field guides was able to hear our dwarf teen animal, which is great because so far it was not seen or spotted here. We just heard that there was in this area, but they were able to hear it, which is perfect. Another bird to add to your list of birds here at Barbasul Nature Reserve. Next year we will have a safari vehicle. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that will be great. <laughs> why do you think it's important to have a safari vehicle here at Barbasul? One of the main reasons why a safari vehicle will be great for our visitors is that it will be a lot easier for them to get to the different trails we have at Barbasul Nature Reserve. 